Hey guys, welcome to my new series, Home Review, where I review your homes and give you tips and tricks to make it a little bit more like you. Today, we have a very special episode because it's the very first episode of this series and we have a space that has a lot of potential. So let's see what our client is like and what they would like in their space. Hi Tash, I am a millennial gray man that loves all things sleek and modern, but feel like I need to add a level of color and warmth into my living room. I love my gray couch, but feel like I need to add color to make it feel a little bit more inviting than the minimalist design I have going. All right, so we've got a living room, only recently moved in as well. So we've got the basics. We've got the couch, we've got the coffee table, and it looks like a side table of some kind. So far, I think this is pretty good. Obviously, this is very ba bare basic. It is very male minimalist in the sense that like, I feel like a lot of men only get the things that are absolute necessities in their spaces and everything else kind of just goes to the wayside, which is totally fine. But since he's only just moved in, there's obviously not much going here. He definitely has the layout down pat because there are a couple of tiles on the right hand side and that is where a fireplace is. And the other thing I like is that the couch isn't at the very back of the room pressed up against the wall. You can see the very back there, that there is a door. So having a little pathway behind the couch to get to it is a little bit nicer than having a pathway through the actual space. So in terms of layout, this is perfect. Now it's just about adding a little bit of personality, a little bit of color, as he said, and just making it a little bit more inviting. As he said, he is a minimalist. He is a little bit more on the gray and neutral sort of side, but wants to add in color. So before we add in the color, we're gonna add in some basic things. This is from Etsy. It's just a black pinstripe cushion, really simple, 45 by 45. And this is going to be like a base cushion. This pairs in really nicely with his coffee table. You can see that the legs have a little bit of black and it's just gonna start tying a few things in together that we're going to be incorporating into the space. But we've got to start with the base. And since he's a minimalist, we're going to not go too crazy with texture and color and anything like that but we do want to add some level of it because otherwise it'll look flat. He has also mentioned that he doesn't have any lighting in this room. And if you look at the ceiling, there's not even a single downlight in <laughs> the entire space, which is a little bit odd, but at least he's got some good natural lighting. So we're gonna add in a big lamp. Of course, you could always just put a lamp into the corner and just have it light up the entire ceiling. Of course, that is an easy thing to do. But we want to make this space feel a little bit moody, a little bit contemporary and a little bit cozy as well. What we're going to do is we're going to try and make the space feel inviting, have it like come in on itself. And one of the ways that you can do this is by having almost like a creation of a new ceiling or a creation of a bubble. So this lamp is actually a little bit bigger than what I've photoshopped in, but it's an arched lamp, which is really cool, really modern, really funky. Not something that everybody has either. So it's a little bit more intentional. And the other thing I like about this is that it kind of mimics the window up the top there as well. It's got a very similar arch so because if you're not taking in the architecture of the space as well, sometimes when you add in your personal style, it can look a little bit disconnected from the architecture of the space and sometimes it just doesn't look quite right. So the lamp is from Wayfair and it's from the bronze base and the tan shade. It did have a couple of options. So it had brushed nickel or bronze, but because we're trying to go for a bit more of a cozy space and since we've already got some warmer tones in the space, the bronze sounds nicer than the nickel. And then with the shade color, you could have gone with anything, but I think the tan is probably the best one without it being too dirty for him, but also not too white where it kind of doesn't look like it fits. So that's where we went with the lamp. So next we're adding in a desk. It's something that he wanted in the corner of the room to have as an option of another place to sit and also do work. When we originally looked at desks, the one that I recommended initially, he didn't quite like, but we ended up settling on this one, which is like more of a rattan, slight mid-century sort of vibe that has a little bit of storage as well. And the reason I liked this desk is that the rattan, even though in the Photoshop, it does look quite different to the actual color of the coffee table, it actually pairs quite nicely. So these two pieces are speaking together, but then the black is also speaking with the cushion. So we can see that we're trying to make sure that there's a balance in the space, at least in terms of color. Of course, you could always go with something that is from Facebook Marketplace or online elsewhere but we wanted to try and keep this as cheap as possible with at least as nice a quality as you can afford. We're not trying to 
choose the most fanciest or craziest thing that you see all online. I know that like sometimes when we look at Pinterest or we look online, we see these beautiful pieces and you know, you kind of go, oh, well, my space is meant to look like that. It's just not the case. A lot of the time people do buy a lot of things from Home Depot and all the other basic places. And that's totally okay. It's just figuring out how to pair them together. Personally, I don't really like selecting all things from one store because then it looks a little too curated, if that makes sense. It's a little too perfect. We don't always want things to be perfect. We do want them to speak to each other, but we also want to make sure that it's completely your personality and not just something that has been curated for you. So now we're up to the fun part where we get to add color. Now, the client said that one of his favorite colors is red. And because he's not used to using much color in his face, I don't wanna to go too crazy with it or with a color that he might get sick of. So we are going with red and I actually do think red can be a very cozy and very inviting color. I'm actually very happy with this color choice. So we're going to add it in in only two pieces and this is going to be how we can build on color later down the line but as a starting place this is plenty especially for someone that is a minimalist and isn't used to color the cushion is an etsy find and the reason i like this one in particular is that it's like almost this like crushed velvet sort of material which kind of gives this like luxe sort of feeling about it and it's very warm toned as well so it's just super inviting you can put that on top of the black pillow but if you're feeling like there's a little bit too much color going you could always flip that around just have it poking out behind and that subdues the color a little bit and next up the rug i wanted to make sure that if you wanted to add more colors later down the line that that was going to be a possibility and it was going to be easier to do you could have easily have gone with just like purely red rug and that would have been nice it would have been very color blocky but i wanted him to be able to experiment later down the line so we've gone for this persian rug which is really cool because it obviously does have a lot of red to it but it also has a bit of blue a bit of like almost indigo and yellow when you buy a rug that's probably the easiest item to be able to pull colors out of and put it throughout the space and I know some people don't really like having a rug in a carpeted room, but if you look at the before and then the after, the rug kind of just frames the space. It's like having a beautiful picture, but not having a frame around it. It just frames it. It lets you know, hey, this is the area of the living room. This is where everything's going to be interacting the most. Now we've got a space that is looking a lot more put together and a little bit more stylized. Obviously, I could recommend so many other things. I could recommend the most perfect candle and the most perfect artwork, but I want this to be a space that he can learn to grow and select things that he might actually like down the line rather than me telling him what to like. There is one thing that I would recommend though for most people especially those that are minimalists, I do really recommend plants. Now, I do think you can overdo it with plants, but plants are so unique in the fact that they add a bit of like an abstractness to a space, but life to a space as well. It's very unique, very weird. Even like fake plants can still pull it off. Not as well, but they can still add a little bit. So if you're not a green thumb, that's totally okay. We've just added in three plants into the space. And these three plants, one in the corner, one on the desk, one on the little side table, you could always do the coffee table as well. That's totally okay. Different types of plants add in different types of texture and they just add that life back into the space that a lot of spaces need. Personally, I am a huge plant person. I do really love plants. I really love just having a whole bunch of really big ones. It's okay if that's not you, that's totally fine. You can always have the fake plants. But I do think having a plant in the space adds a layer of depth to it that you just don't have otherwise. As I said, you could obviously continue with this. I could recommend so many other things, but I want this to be a starting space for him so then he can build on it how he sees fit. If he doesn't like that much color red, he doesn't need to add anything more. He doesn't need to have a red pot or a red piece of artwork that's absolutely crazy. He could easily have just completely neutral pieces after that. And that's just the last little pop of color just to make it a little bit more inviting. The thing with an inviting space is yes, color does play a big role in it. Having warmer tones does tend to make it feel a little bit more inviting. But the other thing as well is the lighting. The thing that I really love about this lamp in particular is that it's dimmable. So then, especially at night, you can make it as inviting as you like and just dim it down to the perfect level. And it just gives this warm ambient glow. So lighting, great. Warm tones, 
great. We haven't really added that much in. It's literally just been the decorations just to make it all tied to together. And that's all you really need for the basis of a really nice, really inviting space. The goal with this space was to make it functional, which he already had all the basics down for. Of course, I could have added a desk chair and stuff, but personally, I believe just get the most comfortable one, not the one that goes perfectly with the space, but I digress. I really want this series to be something that is functional and achievable for everybody. When we go online and we see Pinterest or Architectural Digest, we are inundated with these beautiful homes, but they're not always something that is actually achievable for most of us. And I really want this to be a channel and a series that really builds upon what you already have, your actual personality, and be able to get you to where you want to go. We don't need to have the most expensive or beautifully designed things, but we do want the space to feel like us. And that's what I'm hoping for this series. So if you would like to be a part of the series, there will be a link in the description. It'll pretty much be just a little questionnaire asking you about yourself and your design style preferences and a picture or two of your space. So then I can do a Photoshop like we did today. And if you did like this episode, make sure you do like, subscribe, and I will see you on our next design adventure.